Okay, so today uh, I'm not, it's not a painting video, it's not a digital art video, um, it's not even a doodle video. Uh, but since you know it is, you know, craft art related, uh, I thought I'd go ahead and do a video on this, and also because if uh, it might give you an idea, it, I know um, like when I first started uh, painting and all that stuff. Sometimes I, well, what else can I do with my art other than just paint on canvases? And you know, as you see in my videos, I do like digital art. Um, let me see if I have any of these. I have um, my art on stickers too. You know, so there's a lot you can do if you're an artist and you got an imagination. There's plenty you can do. And uh, this is another idea that you know you can get here if if, uh, if it's something you want to try out. Uh, my wife's the one that does this mostly she's the one that makes these these cups and uh she's the one that found out with these uh cup turners and i mean it's a process to what she does uh i've just painted on like one like couple of different cups tumbler cups and you know one's for me and the other ones i give it her you know sell them or whatever um but the thing that she was talking about, because they have a bunch of generic ones on uh, Etsy and eBay and all that, but now I guess there's a legit one, and that is, uh, we are memory keepers, and that is this uh, spin, it, spin it cup turner. So, what it is, is, uh, you can see here, it's pretty much like a rotisserie, pretend this is chicken, and that's the rotisserie uh, motor, and it just turns the chicken around. Like you see at Costco or Sam's Club. You see the chicken's just spinning around. That's all it does. So, you know, obviously it's a process to make these cups, whatever. Uh, you can YouTube videos. I'm not going to get too specific in that, but if, as you've seen, I think, um, I think I did it with the Maleficent tumbler that I made, that I painted on. Uh, and you'll see that there's a, a process where you put epoxy on and all that stuff. And um, you can sculpt that out. Or you can sculpt out, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, cup turner, rotisserie turner, something like that, or you know, making custom tumblers. Uh, that's how she got into it, and you know, she, she's doing great at it. Uh, we actually have an event that's gonna be next to me at that event. I'm gonna be doing my art paintings and digital prints and all that. Uh, she's gonna be doing her cup things, but yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I got this at Michael's, these have been flying off the shelves because we went last week and they were out. I called in today, they had six, and I was able to get one for her. So, she's gonna be surprised when she gets home later tonight from work. So, you know, she's been one. She gets two regular uh, rotisserie cup turners that she got off of Etsy, I believe. Either Etsy or eBay, one out of two. No, no, or Amazon, I think it was Amazon. But I mean, this is legit, and she was telling me about it, she was all excited about, oh, this one you can actually like, you know, uh, let me show you right here. You can adjust it so it can fit in the cup. Now let me show you one of these cups. I'll show you the one that I use on a pretty much day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the lid was blue, so I didn't want to paint the, the, the lid. And I was like, well, what can I do that's blue and matches that? And I, obviously I went with uh, the blue caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. So I painted that on here. You know, uh, I what I did first, uh, I primered it with white primer. I you know, sprayed it down all that and then, you know, Carefully drew it in there with pencil and then just started painting. But if you see that shininess to it, there's all why. Uh, that's that epoxy that um, that she uses, and I mean it, it looks really it looks freaking cool. It looks like something you buy off of the, the store. Well, I mean the cup obviously you buy off the store. But uh, you know she'll do different ones, different designs and all that. Uh, this one I did for me for this one, and so I water in there. And uh, this is one I did. That she she asked me, it's like, would you paint something on, on one of these? I want to see if uh, if that works. I'm like, yeah, sure. So and I was like, well, what do you want me to paint? And she's like, whatever. So the one that I painted for her uh, was this Mad Hatter one. And I, I want to say that I did a video of this one when I painted this one. But as you see, again, you know, the, the epoxy, it feels cool and all that. It comes with a straw, obviously, but uh, it's not on there. And this is like one that she made using uh, alcohol inks. Alcohol inks? I, th I think it was alcohol ink. Uh, same thing, you know, she used a brush on this. You can, like I said, you can Google stuff, uh, YouTube it. Um, and she, uh, she did a Batman one. But I really like how it looks, like the wood. Uh, this is like different from the other two tumblers. It's one of those metal ones. 
one of those keep your drink cold for like eternity type of cups but um but yeah like like i said if you have an imagination and, and you love doing art i mean possibilities are, are endless it's limitless there's no there's no limit to what you can do with your craft with your um She's not the, the most artistic person, but she's always doing like crafts and stuff. And that was my dog running back there. If that's what you, there you go. Yes. And uh, you know, so I was I was thinking, well, maybe I should do a video. You know, give you know other artists ideas or you know people that want to do something crafty. So like I said, you know, I painted on these. I used my trick skills, and I got a cool little cup out of it. It's not little, but. Um, you know, and so you can slap your art on this. Uh, same thing with, with, you know, with this. Like if I if I wanted to, she she can do um, like that sticker I showed you earlier, and just put like a that design. But what did you call it? A water slide paper. She puts it on here, and it looks freaking cool. I mean, I'm telling you. Uh, let's just open this up real quick. I'm curious to him. Spin it. Now I got this at Michaels. So heads up. Instead of going over there to your nearest Michaels and wasting your time, I would just call ahead of time. And if they do have it and you want one, just have them uh, hold it. That's what I did. I called after work uh, before coming home today. And since I'm on the way home, I was like, all right, I'll pick it up for them. I'm surprised they're later. And cool thing is, yeah, I think they're like 50 bucks. I was able to use the 40% off coupon. Was I? Yeah, 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 I think it was. Because it was like 50, it was like 75 bucks all together. Um, no, 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 I was thinking something else. I bought some other stuff. But it, they're like 50, I, I'm pretty sure you're able to use a coupon on it. But let's take a look here. So this is what it looks like. You got this, and this is another thing. You got the speed, um... You can set the speed on the other ones. It's like it's either one speed or another. You got two different ones, so one goes super fast. Well, compared to the other one, it goes super fast, and one goes like turtle's pace. This one. Okay, I get it. I get it. So, if you notice here, this little twisty, you got an arrow to widen it, arrow to shorten it. So, like if you um, hold it, you just look at these right here. See, it gets, uh, I don't know if you could see it, I could see it, but I'm like holding it, so, but yeah, it gets like wider and smaller, you know, the more you twist towards it. There we go. So that's pretty cool, because like, what, what happens is, uh, here, I'll show you, so, put the lid off that. It goes in there, so obviously it's not set right now for that, but. So what happened, okay, you're done designing it, painting it, whatever. And it goes in like that. So you set the, the speed, you know, that you want it at, preferably like a little slower so you can work with, and then you put the epoxy in, and she puts it in, you know, she puts on uh, plastic gloves or latex gloves, whatever, and she like spreads it evenly, and as it's spinning, you know, you're spraying it, spraying it, and that, it takes forever for it to dry though. That's only thing that I'm like, man, that, that is tedious. Yeah, I'm gonna wait that long. That's why she has like two of them, so. But yeah, this is the, the the brand is Spin It, and like I said, you can find this at Michael's. Uh, you can use coupon. And if you're gonna go call ahead of time, because I mean, these things, it's been a pain in the butt. But, um, it's a USB cord. And the power is a USB cord, you see that? So, there's no big, I think I have a USB charger or whatever. Um, yeah, that's all it is. Uh, two, two, two base, and you know, your instructions there. So, pretty cool. Wife's gonna love it. I know she wanted one the other night, and we drove, you know, across town, and it turned out it was something else that they thought we were talking about. So, we drove with it for nothing. But, um, but yeah, like I said, you know, if, if you're uh, curious what else you can do with your art, you know, you paint or, or draw, whatever, you know, tumbler cups, whatever, just uh, 
primer them, you know, so it, like, kind of like, okay, a blank canvas. But think of the cup as that canvas. And just do what you want, and you can go this route if you want to do that. Um, and so about 50 bucks at Michael's. Uh, I know Michael's also, you're able to, you're able to use a competitor's coupon. So, like, Joanne... Like Joanna has coupons every once in a while. You could use those at Michaels as well. Um, just let them know, hey, you know, this one's from uh, Joanna's down here because they got a a sheet with like the different barcodes and stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just thought I'd share with you guys. You know, you guys saw when I come up with ideas and what else to do with your art. Uh, that's one route, or you know, you're you're really crafty and all that. Maybe you're not that great at art, but you want to you got an imagination. You want to do stuff. Uh, you can go this route as well. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. Um, I know I think I have it in the about portion of, uh, of my channel but if you ever want to check out any of my artwork um, I got paintings you know the digital stuff uh, I think I did a video of this one I'm pretty sure I did uh, any of that stuff I'll go ahead and leave the links to uh, to my Facebook page where it's just nothing but art it's just my artwork no when I was at Disneyland trips and all that. So it's just strictly art. And that's Hector's art page on Facebook or on uh, Instagram. That one's like all, all my art, but I also, you know, post sometimes. I post other stuff. I mean, I got a life outside of art. Um, you, you see a lot of my art there too. And that's, uh, you can find me at, at the one and only Hector. And I'll put, I'll type that in there because it's, I had to get creative with how I did that that one so but yeah um hope you it, hope this uh got some gears turning in you guys heads uh get you antsy to create some new stuff um if you were stuck in a slump hopefully that helped you know get the creative juices going uh but yeah that's all i have for you guys so if you have any questions go ahead and just drop them in the comment section and i'll try to get to uh those questions uh other than that you guys have a good one until next video